Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you can use the timesheet data from QuickBooks Time in QuickBooks Online, you must approve the time entries. To approve time entries from QuickBooks Online if using the QuickBooks Time service, either click the plus new button in the navigation bar and then select the approve time command in the employees section of the drop down menu that appears or click the Time command in the navigation bar, and then click the Approve Time button in the Shortcuts button group that appears on the Overview page to the right, depending on how you subscribe to the QuickBooks Time service. In the Approve Time window that opens, the Pay period shows the dates for the selected time. The individuals whose time you need to approve appear on a list at the left side of the window. You can click an individual in this list to see their time entries to the right. To edit an entry, click the Edit link to the right of the entry, make your changes, and then click the Save button. Back in the Approve Time window to approve the employee's time, click the Approve Employee's First Name's Time button in the lower right corner. To approve all employees' time instead, click the Approve All Employees button in this same area. Alternatively, to approve time in QuickBooks Time, click the Approvals link in the navigation bar at the left side of the window to open the Approvals Report window to the right. Use the Report Filters pane that appears to select through when and for whom to show the time to approve. and then click the Run Report button in the pane to show the time entries by employee. To view the details for an employee, click the View Details link under their hours at the right end of their row to open the Approval Details report in a new window where you can review the time entered and then close that window when finished. To approve the time for an employee, click the Approve button in their row. To approve time for multiple selected employees, check the checkbox to the left of their row to select them. Alternatively, to select all unapproved employees, check the Select All Unapproved checkbox at the top of the Report tab. After making the desired selections, then click the Approve Selected button at the top of the tab. If approving and locking time for days that aren't over yet, a browser warning message confirmation box appears to ask if you really want to do this. To continue to confirm the approval, click the OK button in the Browser Warning Message Confirmation box that then appears. Otherwise, click the Cancel button. To manually export approved time from QuickBooks Time to QuickBooks Online if needed, click the QuickBooks or QuickBooks Payroll button in the toolbar at the top of the QuickBooks Time window to show a drop-down menu of commands. Then click the Export All Approved Time command in the drop-down menu that appears. Alternatively, click the Export Approved Time button in the upper right corner of the Current tab within the Approvals Report window. After doing either task, then click the Export All Hours button in the Proceed with Export dialog box that appears. Alternatively, click the Cancel button to cancel the export. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.